party at the Sagamore Hotel and we're going to let you take a peek right here on Wildlife. Everybody looks better with sun <laughs> Bright sun, beautiful women, and a multi-million dollar yacht. Let's check out a champagne cruise right here on Wildlife.
Zambia and welcome to VIP for the night brought to you by Impulse Energy Drink. Tonight we're going to choose a lucky man and show him the time of his life at the hottest new place in Coconut Grove, Club Life. Nothing says you're VIP until you have your personal bodyguard. And you know what? This lucky man is going to have his own personal bodyguard. Here we have Pharaoh. Look at this. I would be freaking out if I see this guy coming up to me. And you know what? He's going to escort us to the Impulse VIP tables. Whoa! You know, you guys see the shocking color? What, what the hell is this in Miami wearing this blue color here? You just stood out. Like, it just, like, I looked at you and it was like, bang, with that color of shirts. What's going on with this chain here, this whole look? chain was given to me by my mom. Okay. So I always wear it. I keep it with me. Um... And the shirt, I just figured I'd want to stand out tonight. Oh, okay, there we go. You took my attention. So, you know, I came here to speak to you. So, what? There we go. It's tight, huh? You ladies like it. Ah, there we go. We're going to have a good time inside. Have you ever been in here before or no? Okay, well, you know what? You have been chosen because of this sexy t-shirt and that hot blue to be our VIP for the night. I'm going to take you in. I'm going to show you the time of your life. Okay. Let's go, security. It looks like our VIP for the night got DOA, but you know what? You want to give special thanks to Impulse Energy Drink and the hottest club in Coconut Grove, Club Life. But you know what? At least he kept his shirt on. That's what counts, right? Germany's own Paul van Dyck. Hello, Paul van Dyck, and um, this is the boom, natürlich lauter, then feel so um, zum Himmel schaut er das Auge voll gewässer, vielleicht singt sie da oben besser. The most asked question is uh, when did you start DJ? Which I think, you know, someone who interviews me should really know. So, usually the only people who ask me that are the immigration officers <laughs> when I come into the States. So, uh, they're always asking me all that weird stuff, and then uh, the worst thing is when they ask, you actually get paid for that? And then uh, they kind of, they actually completely disbelieve everything and just let me through. I remember once, I think I flew into Greensboro and uh, they kind of actually had me sort of in this little cell because they didn't believe a word I was saying. So they checked, ev they checked everything and um, that was really disappointing for me because I missed my connecting flight and I couldn't play. I'm coming to the States since sort of 93, 94 on a regular basis and I've seen you know, amazing clubs, especially in Florida as an example, there was this, this place called Simon's in Gainesville, which was uh, one of the most forefront clubs of electronic music in the States. And you always had DJs over here like Taylor, Christopher Lawrence, and many, many more, who were actually playing very interesting and sophisticated electronic music since years. This is not just music for geeks, you know, this is a cultural art form which is operating worldwide, with people operating worldwide as well. So. You know, we have a very global interaction between different cultural backgrounds and this is what actually makes the whole thing so exciting. It allows you to be much more creative. 
you know, because you have so many opportunities to actually interact with the music directly and do something very quickly, which you couldn't do with records, possibly. And um, I switched over completely about four months ago, basically after they came up with the Mac version of Final Scratch, because I don't trust PC, I'm sorry. So, <laughs> and uh, so once they had that, I was like checking the program for quite some time. And um, it, it is actually very reliable. And as I said, it gives you so much possibilities couldn't possibly have otherwise it's not making DJ easier this is what many people think you know it's like okay just laptop you just put it there and it plays if you use it properly it makes the whole thing more complex but therefore you're actually much more sort of you know open to inter actually act with the crowd you know you can just completely leave something off a track you know you can actually rearrange a track while things happening this is definitely some part of the future of DJ <laughs> kind of characteristic about the most people within this business they don't want to be in the spotlight and therefore you cannot actually over commercialize things you know it's like we might do some stuff to get some kind of you know people listening to what we do but we do it because we love our music so much and we would like to have our music exposed to a bigger audience but we not do it because we want ourselves to be in the spotlight and therefore uh, you know there are many things I would never do and as well, if you take the uh, Motorola ad as an example, I would not have done it uh, if that would have been like the normal kind of, you know, situation um, that would have been involved. But, you know, Nick Gordon is the director, one of like the most renowned music video directors ever, someone I could never even afford to actually have to make one of my music videos. He was doing the, commo the, the commercial for Motorola. And as well with the music, they didn't just sort of actually cut it so it fits. I was actually getting the music back with a time with the video time code and then actually producing it so you see everything you hear. You can not overexpose it in a way because you know at some point there will be a characteristic of people being shy getting involved and the fact that someone like me still plays preferable in a dark corner rather than on a big stage. <laughs> Hello, I'm Paul Van Dyke, and what are you doing? You should actually clean the dishes for your mom right now and not watch A3. Thank you. 
guys hello how you doing uh, i'm fabrizio and this is club best guide new york city What's good? What's bad? What's good in the nightlife? How do you get inside of a nightclub? How do you dress? How do you go? What kind of do are you going with? Those are the questions. That's how you go out at night, because at night is a different animal. It's not like the daytime. Corporate America in a suit, blue suit, white shirt and red tie. This is not it. When the night comes, you got to dress up, baby. <laughs> This is a simple look, but effective. Look at this f***ing white shirt. Looks like a regular white shirt, right? But check the details. Details. <coughs> Valentino, my friend. No, Old Navy. 
I got these very cool jeans, a little bit modern, a little bit like, you know, sprayed with a bleach, whatever it is. Eh? Hello. On off for the summertime. You can use to go to the beach. You can use to go to the country club. Dolce Gabbana. Excuse moi. Everybody's wearing my head, but nobody loves me. Everyone reminds me of you. I stay up late in bed, hoping you're thinking of me. Thinking about what we Everybody's wearing my head, but nobody loves me. Nobody loves me. Everyone reminds me of you. Everyone reminds me. I stay up late in bed, hoping you're thinking of me. Nobody loves me. Thinking about what. Okay, we're wrapping it up here on Wildlife. Thanks for joining us. I'm Jody, and we'll see you next time right here on Wildlife. Thank <laughs> you.